guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. Today we're doing another bag review video and it's one I've been waiting to use for so long. It's more of a preliminary review, I guess. And it is this beautiful Le Bambino bag from Jacques Mousse. Um, so I just, you know, I got this just around Christmas time. And because I, I, for some reason, because it's white and it's small in my head, I keep thinking I'm only gonna use it in the spring when the weather is warmer. But I think after I used it for a week, I think it's really more of a year round bag. It doesn't really necessarily have to be a spring summer bag. Um, but uh, I think I'm trying to go back to my initial thought of doing a bag review every week, um, whatever bag that I use for the week, and I'll tell you guys my thought about it. So things might evolve over time, but this is my very first week that I try to use the bag and here are my some preliminary thoughts on the bag. I'll do a quick what it can fit in the bag video as well. Uh, I mean, I'll cover that in this video as well. And then maybe just some of my thoughts on um, outfit ideas and things like that. So um, this bag, I think retails now for six, 680 Canadian dollar plus tax. And I was able to get it from Essence for a pretty good deal around Christmas. It was just like at the tail end of their Black Friday sale or their annual sale that kind of followed Black Friday. And it was only like $438, which is a really, really good price for this bag. Um, Jacques Mousse bag do tend to go on sale. So, I mean, you know, if you want to buy a full price by all means, but um, if you are patient and look around, they do come up um, with really good sales from different online websites. So now this this bag is very um it's there it's not very clear on the Jack Moose website the size of these Lembambino bags in with Le Chiquito. They don't tell you it's a mini or small. I think Le Chiquito, the mini size one that I have, it's the actual Le Chiquito bag. When it's a bigger size, they will tell you if it's Le Moyen, as in it's the medium size, or Le Grand, it's the bigger size. But otherwise, I think this is kind of more of the original size. Um, I think maybe it's listed as the, the small size. They do come in the larger one as well, which I also think is very, very beautiful. And um, it's a very great size for this bag too. The mini size, the reason I got for the mini size is you guys know how much I love my mini Le Chiquito one, which I can grab it for you guys as well. Here is my Le Chiquito, and I did a really quick comparison of the two um, shortly after I got the Le Bambino bag, but I don't think it was a fair comparison video because um, I haven't had a chance to use this one yet. So I think maybe once I use it even a little bit more, I'll do a more in-depth comparison for you guys. But this is the, the mini Le Chiquito, which you can tell it's kind of in a similar ratio or similar, it, it, they're comparable sizes for the two. So I got this one because how much I love my small or mini Le Chiquito and that's why I thought this would make sense for me. And the reason I also stick to this size is because it did fit my phone. The first thing I tried after I unboxed the, the, the bag, you can check out my unboxing video, I'll link it somewhere up there, um, is to try to see if my phone fits and it does. But I'll tell you more about it, like now I've actually used it. So it goes in quite nicely, like no no problem. But the problem with these both of these bags is really like the body of the bag is actually bigger than the, the inside of it. So like the frame of the bag is large, but the, the, the um, capacity inside is actually even smaller because the way it's designed, it's a triangle shape in the, on the side and it really dips in quite a bit. So now you can see my phone is making a dent, I guess making a bulging on the side, right? Like it's kind of, you know, not really fitting properly in there. This is the problem with the same thing with Le Chiquito line and Le Bambino, even with a bigger size. Like I've tried the Moyen and then when you put in a phone, it does the same thing, kind of pushes the edge from the side. I don't think it's a huge deal. It doesn't really impact the side, uh, the, the front view. But if you look from the side, you can easily tell that it's pushing the side leather. And I think over time, it will affect the overall shape of the bag, which is kind of fortunate. But anyways, um, as this is a review, I'll get do a quick kind of introduction on the bag regardless. So as you can see, it's a white bag. 
that was one of my rules in the past. Like I don't, I do not want to buy a white bag. But this one, I mean, it came up as a really good deal. The, the white, black one at the time was also on sale, but then I, I wouldn't be getting another black because it would be similar to my other Chiquito. And also, I mean, um, it's a smaller bag and the price, it's, you know, fairly good, reasonable. So I think white would be another really easy neutral color to pair with different outfit. And it just stands out as a white bag. So I think it's really, really cute. They come in a variety of different colors. I'll link um, the website below so you guys can check it out. But they come in like the suede, the khaki color. Um, you know, there are just a lot of different options. And similar to the Chiquito, they both have a handle, although the handle design is very different. But this is actually a very friendly, user-friendly handle in my opinion, because it does hold the bag really well. You can put it in your hand and really easy. It's not as nice to put your hand through. I don't think it's not a comfortable way to carry it like this. In my personal opinion, it seems a little awkward. So definitely just holding on the handle. So being a white bag and with a white handle over time, this might become dirty. I mean, you can always cover it with the with a trolley, a scarf or something, but I don't think it makes sense. I guess I'll just have to watch for it and uh, clean it as needed. So it comes with a top handle and it's also a magnet, magnet closure. However, this magnet is not visible. So it's kind of covered by the leather part themselves. Whereas the Chiquito magnet is exposed. So the bond is definitely a lot stronger for the La Chiquito versus the Bambino bag. I'm not sure the reason behind why they designed it this way. So I guess maybe it's just, you know, more flat. The closure will look more neat this way. But there's no actual like closing of the magnet, right? They basically just hold it by the, the force that they have over the two pieces of leather. So it's not a very strong closure for sure. Um, it's more of an issue, especially after I put stuff in. So I'll show you guys after when I try to put more things in. So it's a magnet enclosure. It, the, another cool thing I really love about this bag is this back pocket. So this back pocket is really brilliant because it's just the right size to be fitting in like couple cards that you need. So I have just two example cards that I can show you guys. So it fits your kind of credit card, your main credit card, and your um, license, for example, really nicely. So the, all, of course, it will, it's inconvenient if you do, um, then you do have to take those cards in and out of your card holder and things like that. But I do use it because I find the bag is so tiny that it's a bit of a struggle to also have your phone and a card holder, everything in one. So I do find this back pocket quite um, useful. It's also because a small size is a bit tricky to take it out as well. But if you only have a couple cards in there, I think it's it, it's um it does work. So I do like this back pocket design. So it also has a Jacquemus logo at the corner here, and then as you can see, it's very similar to La Chiquito. I mean, the bag of course is bigger than La Chiquito because it's longer, but the height is about the same. And the text, the size of the Jacquemus logo is the same. I actually think they use the exact same logo for all their bags, so you can use it. That's what I do, kind of comparing to the size of the bag, the ratio to the to the word to kind of know what size of the bag it is. Um, and then the strap, so it comes in this gold hardware. And if you look very closely, the hardware is actually slightly different as well. I feel like the maybe the strap comparison will be more obvious. It's similar enough, but there's some subtle differences. Maybe it just depending on when it is made. So they both has, have this Jacquemus engraving on it. But just the color tone of it, it's slightly different. Um, but they're like quite similar. And then the main difference of the strap is their adjustment mechanism is different. So this one, the Le Bambino, is a buckle just, which is pretty cool. I like this um, brush gold kind of um, adjustment buckle. And then whereas Le Chiquito is like a stud. But other than that, their overall chain is quite similar. It's very similar in width. But because this one is a buckle, the holes are a bit smaller, which I kind of like that. Um, 
Okay, and then the inside, I think they are both fabric line and they're both in this beige fabric actually. So um, quite similar in terms of the inside. Um, the strap is removable, but I personally like the crossbody look. Even if I hand held it, I don't mind keeping the strap on. It's just a hassle to kind of have to worry about the strap. Um, it does give you quite a few like different level to adjust the strap lens, which I really like. So looks like this. Okay, so um, I'll show you guys what fits in here quickly, which is not going to take very long because it, it doesn't fit a whole lot in anyways. Um, okay, so let's start with your essentials, which is the phone. This is my old iPhone 8 with a case. I already kind of showed you at the beginning. So it does fit inside. I tend to put it in the back of the bag for myself, but it, you know, it does push the leather on the side a little bit more, but you know, I think it fits. So at the time when I first got the bag, you know, the first thing I did is try and it fits the phone. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get this bag. But you can tell eh, when you I put in the phone because it adds some weight to it. The closure is already a bit of a, it's not super tight. Like once it's closed properly, it's not too bad. But if you shake a bit, nah, it's okay. But if I add in more stuff, it will start to like open up. It opens quite easily, I think, because of the weight, especially if you try to hold it on the handle part. And then, I mean, if you have a bigger size, I would love to know how the closure is for the bigger one. But for this mini one, definitely I find the closure to be a bit annoying because of that. But again, not a huge hassle. It does make it easier to open and close in a way. So I don't know. Depends on, you know, whether you want a king, king with a closure or you rather have an easier opening. But so it does hold your phone. And then I have a very basic key, which I also put in no problem in there. And then, like I said, I tend to put the cards in the back, just a couple of them. So then there is still some room, but again, it's quite deceiving because if you fill it up, you would not be able to close the, the flap at all. So you have to really just be careful. You can put in a lipstick and then a tiny hand sanitizer thing. And that still goes okay. So that's, that's fine. But as soon as you want to start putting on anything more substantial, like a mirror, I think you'd be not able to close it or even put it in. So you have to play Tetris a little bit. So it's it's not bad if you put in like a pen or some sort of like anything in the in the um, a longer in length. But if you put in anything like a square shape, it gets a little tricky. So if you just like shuffle things around a bit. No, see it wouldn't even be able to hold my mirror inside along with the things that I just showed you guys. Even if I play with the organization a bit, it wouldn't, it wouldn't fit. Nope. So I'll take out the mirror. Uh, you are able to maybe squeeze in another lip gloss or a... Uh, 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 you know, eyeliner or something like that, but that's pretty much it. Um, I think I can, well, of course you can put in your mask. So I just have a mask here. And then if you fold it up, you would be able to put that in on the top, I think. Even that is pushing a bit. It, you're, you're pretty much at the maxed, maximum capacity there. So, okay. And then when you close it, you can tell, like when I try to squeeze in the mask, the, the flap would just not close. Okay, so let me try to see. And honestly though, like when you're going out, you don't want that much hustle to make sure that the bag will close properly. Nope, it wouldn't. But if I take out the mask, and make sure that there's nothing pushing, so this is okay. But again, you know, you're at the edge of, you're on the verge of just like, just barely enough. I think it's okay. Like it'll probably still fit the mask. You just have to like, make sure it's organized in the way that not pushing 
the opening flap. No. Anyways, okay. So quickly showing you guys, like I said, it didn't take long what the what it can fit. So your phone, if it's an iPhone or iPhone 10 or 8, so anything bigger than that wouldn't fit. This is the exact phone I would use for my mini pochette. So if your phone fit into your mini pochette, then it will fit in here. But if you have anything larger, which is a lot of other phones on the market right now, unfortunately, they will probably not fit in here. You can probably do a diagonal, but again, that will take up the entire space of the bag, pretty much. So, uh, the phone, the little hand sanitizer, your lipstick, your basic keys, and that's it. That's all. So I feel like the difference with the... <clears throat> Oh, and sorry, the cards in the back, of course. So you can have cards in the back. The difference with Le Chiquito is really you can't fit the phone, but everything else in here fits in here, fits in the Le Chiquito fine. So if you um, are someone who kind of like don't carry your phone in your purse anyway, then Le Chiquito might be a good option for you as well. So I have my lipstick in there. And... feel like it should fit yeah and because it has a proper closure it almost would fit quite well in here so that's pretty good so like I said the difference really in terms of capacity the difference would be the phone and I mean that's a big deal right like in the summer especially for me I don't always wear something with a pocket so if I can't then I must carry something with a bad ability to carry my phone so that's why this um, this is really the reason why I wanted to keep it. And I really adore the look, the design of this bag as well as a top handle bag. I just think it's super, super cute. I will show you guys how it looks on me. Okay. Like this. I don't know how much you guys can see of my outfit today, but just wearing some baggy jeans, um, cashmere sweater, checkered blazer, the whole outfit is actually from Zara, but they're not all from the most recent season. They do have very similar pieces in the new, and I love these new boots that I got from them. So, I just feel like with a white bag, you, you probably want to consider outfit with similar color tones um, and um, boots or shoes that's also in the white tone color, so you can kind of tie in the outfit together. Okay, so my initial thoughts. Um, I think I mentioned this when I first unboxed the bag as well. Because it's a white leather, I don't know if any of you guys ever have white bag. White bag is just almost impossible to keep it clean. Like after a while, like I haven't really started even using this bag. But you can tell the white color just become slightly like gray and dusty. Like I feel like it's something that's just impossible to keep it white and even if um, people put them in a dust bag and put them away after a while they become like yellow it's just just use it while you while you have them don't be afraid of using it because if you don't then you know it's kind of not worthwhile in the end anyways um so that's one thing and with the white color too i do find that it tends to show the flaws a bit more so with a white bag the stitching or the flaws in the stitching will be a little bit easier to tell. Um, the flaws on the, you know, the glazing too, like you can kind of easily pinpoint where it's not really done very well ver versus like a black bag, you know. It's harder to tell if certain stitching is poorly done because it's in black, so it's harder to see the bigger stitching holes or anything like that. But with a white one, it's just, you know, like if you look at size stitching, some holes are bigger than others. Anyways, I'm nit being nitpicky. I'm just saying like flaws are definitely easier to show on the white bag. Another thing with white bag is because it's in the leather, anything with this kind of flap, eventually there will be a crease here. So like you can, you can fold slightly, but because you try to open with this piece here, there will eventually be a fold here and also a fold up here. Which is the one thing I really like about the Chiquito, I mentioned this in every video too, because it's two separate pieces of the leather, you will never get a real crease here. You might get a little bit up here, but like usually the crease is um, where the fold is the most um, frequent being used. So in this case, because it's two different leather, that won't be an issue. So now with the Bambino, it's one piece of leather. 
So eventually this part is gonna show and you can already see some folds, some wrinkles up here. Um, same thing with the handle part, anywhere that, that has a little bit of a fold, eventually it's gonna have a bit more wrinkle that could lead to like dry leather or cracking on the leather. Um, so again, I feel like, not sure how long this bag will stay in this pristine condition. Um, so far, you know, after a week of use, nothing happened. Like there's no, I, obviously I didn't use it a ton. I, I um, try to use it whenever I go out this week and I really love it. I feel like similar to my Lichikido, it tend to um, just something fun to add to the outfit. I really find it like, you know, it goes, it's easy, super easy to pair with any outfit. Uh, with this bag, obviously, I tend to go with like white or uh, beige, anything lighter, brighter color, just so that everything can tie in well together. Um, and I just love this handle part. I like it to handheld it. I do put my phone in it when I do go out, but I do, after a while, I do find it to be a little bit of a hassle, like I said, because the phone will take up the majority of the space. And then you do, if you have other things in the bag, you do have to kind of play with the spacing to close the flap properly. So that part was annoying for me. So there was a few times, I have to be honest, there was a few times after I take out the phone, I just put it in my pocket because I was too annoying to try to put it back into the bag itself. Um, I think I would only do that if I have no other option, like if I have no pocket or anything else, then I would definitely try to put it into the bag. But otherwise, it just seems like a bit of a annoyance to like making sure there is enough room in the bag for your phone. So this is what I do. Once I take it out, it's okay. But if you have other things in your bag, like I usually just have my keys and the sanitizer and the mask in the bag and it does work, but when you try to put the phone back, you have to make sure like the phone actually goes into the back, otherwise it wouldn't work. But maybe I just need time to get used to it. Anyway, super cute bag. Uh, final verdict, whether I would recommend the bag. I would recommend if you're able to get a really good deal on it. So if you, or if you find a color that you really, really love and then, you know, you, I, I, I think this design is very, very cute. Um, I might even try a bigger size just to see. I can imagine that's a lot easier to use because it's larger than it can easily fit a lot more items in. Um, and I do like that handle look for a bigger bag as well, so I might try it out. For the small one, my final verdict would be if you can get a good deal on a bag, then go for it. But I think for the original price, you can probably find similar bag at those price point on the market that's even more user friendly. Case in point, my Gucci Mermont bag, although it's a lot more expensive, but I feel like it is somewhat in the same range and sometimes Gucci, you can also find some deals on those as well. Um, and to be honest, if I have to pick between the two, like if this is your first time picking a bag and you have to choose between the two, um, if not fitting a phone is, is not something you consider, then definitely go for the Leche Quito. I just find it a little bit cuter, um, it seems to be like, in terms of design, I think it's a little better. I like the closure better. Like I said, the only only thing with the Bambino bag for me is that it can fit a phone. And I do like the overall look, but not as much as I like my Le Chiquito. And the other point to it is, like I said, I've tested for a week. And I find that even though it can fit a phone, sometimes I choose not to use the bag for the phone anyway because it's so small. So I might have a different point of view if I get a bigger one, but for now, if I pick, have to choose between the two small ones, I'll probably recommend Le Chiquito more. It is also cheaper, so there's that to consider as well. But um, anyways, that's all I will say. I still really like the bag. I might come back in a few months to do a more kind of wear and tear and a long-term review on the bag. Um, but for now, I think I'm gonna move on to another bag next week. So stay tuned. Thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.